This video is a brief overview of the eLaser Express and how it's used to template a countertop. The eLaser Express is the most portable system on the market. Uh, all the components come in a field rated Pelican style case. The case houses the tripod, the laser head, rechargeable batteries, countertop markers, and a handheld remote. Uh, this uh, case and its components come in at around 13 pounds. Setup is quick and easy with the eLaser Express. Uh, we'll lock these legs into place with twist locks. Get that set up, adjust the middle portion, and we'll install the laser head next. Now the laser head screws on top of the tripod and we'll just rotate that in place until we have it snug. We'll make a last adjustment on the tripod with the bubble level just to have the bubble inside the black ring. Next we'll grab our countertop markers and we'll put those on the edges of the cabinetry that we cannot see based on where the laser is located. So two on this end of the cabinetry and then we'll go around to the back side of this cabinetry and place two more and that'll actually be our peninsula. We'll grab our handheld remote, close the case, move that out of the way. The handheld remote is there so that we can take points without having to uh, interact with the laptop every single time. The eLaser system and Measure Manager software work on any Windows 10 laptop, so you can provide your own or you can have one provided by eTemplate Systems. We'll get our handheld remote plugged in and then we'll launch our software. Upon launching the software, you'll see the blue toolbar. It's, that means that it's automatically connecting to the laser head. And once that has connected, we will go right into level mode. The eLaser Express does digitally level. So with two rotations, 90 degrees, we'll set level. There's one. And there's the second rotation. And we should get a check mark showing that we are in fact level and we're ready to shoot. Beam on, set up time about three minutes. Next we'll go right to our settings file and in Measure Manager we can select our outside radius, inside radius, overhangs, splash height, uh, label size, linear footage, square footage, our wall lines where they're scribed or straight, our wall offsets, and label our colors uh, for our countertop template. Uh, next we'll go and establish the datum for our countertop shoot. Uh, by doing that we will pick two points on the cabinet face and uh, set our orientation for this particular shoot. So an X1 to the left and an X2 to the right and the system will tell us we've completed our datum successfully. From there we'll go right into our automated countertop tool and begin our shoot. Now we measure and shoot in a clockwise fashion, so your first point will be on the first finish edge, which will be that marker. And then we'll move to our second marker. And then we'll move around to the cabinetry. We always move in a clockwise fashion, taking our points about two inches off of the outside and inside corners. Never have to shoot to the corners with the e-laser system. We'll just keep moving around. The system allows us to take points about every second. Um, I'm moving a little bit slower than that just so that I can be very deliberate. People can see where I'm aiming and shooting the laser. Then we'll keep moving around the cabinetry and taking our points. You can see as we take points they appear on the screen here in this display. Then we'll come up on our 45 cabinet that we have in the corner. 
take our points there and then we'll move on after that to our next section of cabinetry take our points and continue to the left side here now we can adjust our laser manually we also have fine adjust knobs that will allow us to adjust vertically and horizontally from there we'll then move to the marker that's on that edge and take our first point on that side on the countertop marker scribe line and we'll do same thing for the back marker on that side from there we'll move to the back wall and we take a minimum of three points on the wall or we can take multiple points and scribe the wall so in this particular case we're moving along about every eight to ten inches along the back side of this wall and as we move and take points those points appear in the software and we'll see those showing up here and we just we keep working until we get to uh, just about the corner about two inches off of the corner and once we take that final point then we'll transition to the adjacent wall about two inches off of the corner again and we'll continue shooting points about eight to ten inches now for a shorter wall we might only want to take three points and that's fine uh, the system will know it's a wall by taking three points on that particular surface so we'll move along towards the end of this run and we can either stop short of the original point that we started at or we can go past and take a point just past either way is fine then we'll hit the enter key after the last point is taken and voila our countertop has been completed with overhangs, uh, radiuses, our splashes, labeled linear footage, square footage, and splash square footage. Very easy. Next, we can edit part of the countertop. So we can go in, click on the label, change the overhang for this from just a standard overhang to a bar top. We can also adjust the radius just by clicking, changing the radius from two to six. Hit OK and do likewise for the end of that particular run 1.5 to 6 and hit OK so we've made a really quick adjustment there in little or no time next we'll just take a point to do our sink drop in so we'll take a point in the middle of that cabinet and then we'll grab a DXF file from our library that Blanco sink and it says select the front edge of the countertop we'll do that and then it wants to know position and we have a point so we'll select that midpoint our offset will be four inches and we'll drop that sink in so this particular uh, cabinetry shows a farm sink but we can also um, do different types of sink drop-ins our toggle splitter allows us to turn off layers for this particular template so that we can go right down to the bare essentials of the profile of the countertop, the splash, uh, and the sink so that we can export that as an AutoCAD DXF. We'll select all displayed all, everything's orange, accept it, give it a name, Demo Kitchen 1, and click Save. In less than 10 minutes, we've set up the eLaser Express, launched the software, leveled the system, created a countertop template, and exported that template as a DXF file for fabrication. Your eLaser system includes a hard copy as well as PDF version of our user's manual that gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how to use the system with illustrations on all of the steps that we've talked about today including additional steps for vertical templating as well as CAD tips and tools in order to get the most functionality and use out of your system. Also included is our video catalog 
which is a series of short how-to videos on various techniques that you can review. In addition to the user manual and video catalog, eTemplate provides excellent web-based training as well as one-on-one -on -one training for your system.